Hi, I'm Larry Olson and I want to welcome you to my channel. You know, what we're going to have an opportunity to talk about today is how to develop unconditional self-worth. Let's also tie in the connection between how that affects our own mental health. So what exactly is self-worth? Well, it's the ability to be able to acknowledge, appreciate, and really get as powerful to love that individual we call ourselves. Probably one of the most difficult things for most people to do because we've been brought up as I've shared with you before about what's not going on in our lives so that we can then go ahead and fix it. Well, very few individuals have been able to recognize how detrimental it is to point out what's wrong with another human being. And we've had enough of that go on that a lot of people have difficulty falling in love with themselves. You know, there's an old adage that says, love thy neighbor like thyself. And we find most people do, and that's the problem. Because what is that saying? It needs to, it's saying that an imperfect human being like myself, who's probably made more mistakes than I've done things right, how can I have a high opinion of me? And sometimes what we do is we have to go back in time to before you and I even came out. And we came out because of a phenomenal, phenomenal feat that we accomplished. And the gift that we received for doing something that's more difficult, almost a hundred times more difficult than winning the lottery, is being born. And what was the gift we received? That's right, life. And it was over hundreds of thousands of years that had been going on prior to you and I popping into this thing called life to develop our brain, which we look at as just standard operating procedure. Most people aren't even aware of what it does. They just know that they think. Now, when we connect the miracle of life, we take a look at what we've been given, a brain with over 100 billion neurons, that can actually process over 30 trillion bits of information a second. While you're listening to me, all of that is going on and you don't have to do anything about it. You didn't even design it. Again, all of these wonderful things we were given at birth. And isn't it amazing that we can get a test back on it that says F. Here we are, we probably didn't prepare very well, we went ahead and took the test. We, I would say we might not even been interested while we were preparing and we get an F back. And a lot of people, you know what they do? They take this micro piece of information in the whole scheme of things and then they go, I'm not very good at physics or math has always been hard for me. Wait a minute, you're a miraculous human being. You weren't even interested and what did you think you were going to receive back? And then what you did, the worst possible thing you could probably do, is you looked at the person next to you who got an A. And you started making comparisons. And comparisons start to whittle us down to the point where we find ourselves doing the worst thing we can possibly do. We start judging one another. And then we have this group, we have that group. We got who's picked first to play on the team, who's picked last. And you get enough of that going on in your life, by the time you reach this video, you have a pretty strong opinion of whether or not you can fall in love with you. I, yeah, that's exactly what I said, fall in love with you. And one of the ways to build self-worth is to fall in love with not only what you've been doing right, but all of the places you fell short. You wouldn't have a story to share if you didn't have to go through a few struggles, if perhaps you're not even struggling now. Because where our self-worth comes from is the fact that we don't put our finger in our mouth, crawl into bed, pull a blanket over our head, and say, woe is me. We get up in the morning, don't we? We give it all we got to attempt to make things better, not only for ourselves, but to those others in our lives. That's what self-worth is all about. It's not about perfection, it's about progress. 
And progress isn't always something that you just, you hit it over the fence. Progress is sometimes not hitting the snooze alarm and actually allowing yourself to be excited about the day ahead. So let's pause for a moment and just examine that you have a choice to make. If it wasn't enough that you accomplished something that is a hundred times more difficult than winning the lottery and the gift that you were given is life, if that's not enough for you to be pumped about who you are, then let's put it this way. It's a choice. Either like yourself or don't like yourself. What do you choose? If you found this information to be of value, go ahead and give me a like. If you've got a comment, that would be amazing because then I can, for those of you who have subscribed, I will go ahead and I will share that information in our next video together, especially if it's constructive. So thanks again, and I look forward to the next opportunity for you and I to share ideas.